Uh, today we're going to be talking about Fig, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Fig is the newest furred food perk addition to Super Auto Pets, added in the Golden Pack during the Pigeon update. Uh, so here I've got two games, uh, which I'll use as a way to talk about Fig, and they're both summon games on Golden Pack. Summon being the general kind of archetype that Fig would be targeting with low health pets that have uh, abilities in battle. So I wanted to talk about Fig. And so you're gonna see here I'm getting a Magpie start which isn't my favorite but I get a Possum start which is actually my favorite so it kind of evens out there and I believe in two turns or so you will see me grabbing Fig because uh, Fig is, well, at start of battle, it does four damage to the lowest health pet on the enemy team. Which sounds really strong, it sounds like a dolphin, because that is the exact ability of dolphin just put on a food perk, which is very interesting. And that is, of course, because dolphin got a buff to four damage recently. But, regardless, uh, me and many others on the Super Auto Pets Discord were discussing and fig and if it's too strong or whatnot because it is it is a strong food perk for sure and me and quite a few others were like yeah this needs a nerf this definitely needs a nerf this is way too powerful this is a crazy food perk for tier three and i'm actually going to recant that a little bit uh you'll see here is my first fig um yeah i do grab it it is a very nice thing to have, and what I'll say is I won't speak for customs and weeklies. I think in customs and weeklies, Fig is going to be an absolutely insane grab, but in Golden Pack, Fig is not that bad. And the reason for that is because one tier later, I'm not sure why I bought that waffle, that, that I probably would have been better with using the plus three health rather than the plus three attack on random friends because I'm going to be selling half these things, but you know. Um, I do win that anyways. Uh, but Fig is okay in Golden Pack because of the potato. And while it's strong in Golden Pack, having potato, which for those unaware, blocks ability damage, so like rocks that are thrown. It blocks that type of damage uh, two times up to eight damage, which means if you are going against a team with five figs, and you're going to see here I grab the German Shepherd, um, I really enjoy taking pets that have like a, based on their uh, stat percentage effect, and uh, scaling them in battle with things like Secretary Bird. I think it's really fun, and you can see it's really powerful here. So I'm on eight wins already, and I'm just going to keep on rolling with that. Um, but against a team of five fig uh, users, a single potato, assuming your lowest health pet can be destroyed by a single fig, it's going to block three figs before it hits a second pet. If you have if you have a single potato and a pet with nine health, you will only have one pet hit by a fig. And so in Golden Pack, it's definitely something you have to play around. You can't just ignore that fig exists here. And I do lose here, which ruins my amazing streak that I was having. But uh, grabbing a single potato is really all you need to counter fig in most instances. Um, you see here I've got a team with my highest health is eight. Um, and I don't I don't think this person had a fig. You can see tomato is much better in that instance and I'll get that win. And now I will swap over to the next win. So we're on the second game now. And as you can see I ran a team that had almost no health scaling, or really no, uh, I didn't commit to any scalers or anything. 
and I did just fine even though I went up against a few opponents who had Fig. Now, I think, well, well I, I can't, I'm gonna have a counter here to see how many times I say Fig because uh, it's the point of the video, but it's still funny to me. Um, I do think it is strong. It's a very strong food perk, especially in other packs. Uh, and that's what I want to step on here is in a weekly without uh, potato, I think Fig is going to run absolutely wild. Um, and if we see a uh, a change to that, like a, uh, a balancing change to Fig, I think it'll be after we get a weekly with Fig in it. Um, my, my two ideas for what they could change Fig to would be a on, like a before attack or an on faint ability, which would be cool anyways for synergy with things like Seagull, but uh, I, I could see that as a possibility, I could see them just lowering it to 3 damage. It feels a little powerful for a tier 3 food to have the same ability as uh, a tier 3 pet that you can just put on all your pets. And so, I, I guess the third possibility for... And I grabbed Saga Antelope here. I, I I grabbed it a while ago, but I'm not just talking about it. But you'll see I lose there. Because Saiga is pretty hard to use, in my humble opinion. You see, I'm going to grab two Flying Fish. I love Flying Fish. It's not as good as it used to be. But, but yeah, I, I guess the third option for a balance change for Fig could be making it a tier 4 food. Um, personally... I don't think that Fig is an issue at all in Golden Pack. I think it's a really nice addition for limited counterplay. Because like there's things like Caterpillar and Royal Flycatcher, which are really strong counterplay that can effectively take an entire approach and delete its effectiveness. And I don't, I don't like that. Um, Actually, in uh, the most recent weekly, while counterplay like that is good in verses, I find it, and you're going to see I'm going to be going for essentially the same build I went for last time, except with some scaling. But um, while counterplay like that is good in verses as a way to like keep you on your toes and force you to pivot, because you know you're playing against one person or may maybe a group of people, but like in 1v1s, it's what mostly what I'm talking about. You see, I get the German Shepherd here. Uh, counterplay like that can be really interesting. However, when it comes to uh, in arena, it can be quite frustrating to have something incredibly strong that is specifically strong against your approach. Because then it's more of a roll of the dice, you know? And obviously that's what sap balancing is all about, is uh, trying to figure out how best to distribute these random elements and these uh, less random elements. However, um, I digress. I think Fig is great as a tempo play food, which can protect you while your scaling gets to where it needs to be. Because, the, at least in this pack, uh, scaling is pretty... Uh, other than Baboon, you don't have big scaling effectiveness until late game with your tier 5s and your tier 6s. So having something that can counter the other styles of play in the meantime, but drops off later, I think is a really, really nice thing. Uh, in general, uh, yeah, I, I, I think I've kind of touched on it enough, but I think Fig is a good addition, and, well, a good addition to Golden Hack, and we'll see how it goes in Customs and Weeklies. I, I do think it is incredibly strong in Customs and Weeklies. You see, I'll, I'll grab one now, and now I'll just talk about the game, and you can see it's the same idea as last time with Secretary Bird buffing a German Shepherd in battle, except I've already got some stats on it, so my slug's immediately going to have some effectiveness. Uh, and you can see here, 
late game, it's probably better to have things like pita bread or so forth than uh, fig. Because pita bread's another thing that kind of counters. Because it's with summons or snipes, you're usually doing chip damage. You're not doing huge, you know, slams. So pita's your late game solution to all of that. And I, I don't. I think Fig's good. I certainly don't think Fig is as good as Pita Bread is. Uh, certainly for this situation. And you can see here, I, I've been on a streak now, and I, I don't think I get. I do get the the level three German Shepherd, which is nice. And I think I was searching there for the Secretary Bird, just unnecessary. But you can see here, I've once I got this build going, it really swipe, sweeps, and I go against someone else doing the exact same thing and I don't I, I guess the slight scaling on my secretary bird is what wins it for me but yeah um, that's my thoughts on fig and uh, I'll see you later